Hello everybody. Today we are continuing with chapter 2 Shapes and Angles. And you know what? We are going to learn about a very interesting concept and that is polygon. This word polygon is actually made with two words. Poly. Poly means many and gun means angle. So a figure which has many angles is actually a polygon. Now with the help of this definition, we are going to learn its meaning in depth, in details. So a polygon is a plain closed figure formed with at least three or minimum three or more line segments which do not cross each other. You know what? This definition itself actually tells you about all the properties of a polygon. Let me underline those important points. First of all, it is a plane figure. Now, what is a plane figure? A plane figure is a two-dimensional shape. A two-dimensional shape is flat. It doesn't have any thickness. Fine. Second important thing is, it is a closed figure. It is a closed figure which means what? That the beginning and ending points are same in such figures and there are no gaps. So let's learn it with more clarity with the help of this figure. This point A is the beginning point of this figure. So how had I drawn this? I start from point A. I move like this this way and my figures come to an end at the same point. So what did we observe? We observed that the beginning and ending points are same here. And was there any gap here? No. Now look at this figure everybody. I started drawing it from this point. I drew it this way, then this way came on to this side, this side and my figure ended here. So this was the beginning point. Let's call it as B and this was the beginning point and let's name it as C. So here what do we observe? The starting point and ending points are different and there is a gap which shows that it is not a closed figure. So we cannot consider it as a polygon. Is it clear? So this is clear that it is a plain closed figure. Third point is that it is formed with at least three line segments. The minimum number of line segments required to draw a polygon is three. Now just observe if I draw a figure like this one, one line segment and this is two line segments. Is it a closed figure? Unless and until it is going to be closed, we cannot consider it as a polygon. So, the minimum number of sides it should have is 3. Now, do we have a closed figure or not? So, that's why it's written that it is formed with at least 3 or more. The number of line segments could be more than 3 but it cannot be less than 3. Remember one more thing Mata, that the number of line segments should be finite countable. Last property says that these line segments do not cross each other. If these line segments they cross each other we do not consider it as a polygon. Look at this figure. In this, it is a closed figure. It is a plain figure. It is made with line segments. 
but these line segments are crossing that is why it is not a polygon now let's consider all these figures once again and see which one is a polygon and which ones are not the polygons now observe this it is a closed figure it is a plain figure it is made with four line segments and these line segments do not cross each other so yes it's a polygon just observe this now this is a plain figure it is a closed figure fine the line segments are not crossing each other but do you observe that there are three line segments and the fourth side is a curved line so remember that a polygon is made with straight line segments not with a curve so we cannot consider it as a polygon now i explained it while i was explaining the definition to you so as it is not a closed figure so we cannot consider it as a polygon the last one it is it is a plain figure it is a closed figure and it is made with three line segments and they are not crossing each other so this is a polygon this is not a polygon as the line segments are crossing this is not a polygon why because it is a closed curve and the polygon is made with straight line segments yes this is a polygon and this also is a polygon i hope now you have understood the meaning of a polygon now we move to the different types of polygon so the first type of polygon is a triangle the name itself tells you about this polygon tri means three a figure which is having three angles is called a triangle so a polygon having three sides and three angles is called a triangle look at this figure a b c so it has got three sides everybody let's count one two and three and it has also got three angles one two and three clear everybody next is a quadrilateral quad means four so a polygon having four sides and four angles is a quadrilateral so look at this figure p q r s let's count its sides 1 2 3 4 so it has got four sides and four angles as well 1 2 3 4 so what do you observe that a quadrilateral is a polygon having four sides and four angles next one is a pentagon now what is a pentagon a polygon having five sides and five angles now look at this figure g h i j k so 1 2 3 4 and 5 sides angles 1 2 3 4 and 5 so a pentagon is a polygon having five sides and five angles type of polygon is hexagon a polygon having six sides and six angles is called a hexagon now a b c d e f so this figure has got six sides let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 and it has got six angles also 1 2 3 
and seven. And it has also got seven angles. How? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Children, the next type of polygon is an octagon. An octagon is a polygon having eight sides and eight angles. Just observe this figure everybody and let's count the number of sides it has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has got eight sides and now let's kind of count its angles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. So this polygon has got eight sides and eight angles and that is why we classify it as an octagon. The next type of polygon is a nonagon. It is a polygon having nine sides and nine angles. So let's count its sides first of all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. So it has got nine sides. Now is the turn to count angles. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and this is nine. So a polygon having nine sides and nine angles is called a nonagon. The eighth type of polygon is decagon. So a polygon which has ten sides and ten angles is called a decagon. Let's count the sides everybody in this figure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. And the angle is now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So what do we observe? That this figure has got 10 sides and 10 angles and it is a decagon. Better, there are more polygons also but that's not in your syllabus. For class 5 children this much is sufficient. But still if you have interest, then don't forget to check the description box. I am going to mention the rest of the polygons. Thank you.